hello everyone so today I'm going to implement uh, the alarm tower activating by NPC character so when NPC characters see me or a spot player or any other character who is belong to an enemy faction for these other NPC characters they will sound the alarm so here is the demonstration if I make a whistle now they see me so they have spotted me so in about five seconds the alarm will turn on see right that's what I'm gonna work on today right so we have implemented this uh, alarm tower and we have already implemented a function that turns on the alarm sound and the slide but still there are there is no connection like from the ai characters uh, to trigger the alarm when they detect the player so that's the next step i am going to implement so uh, at the moment i'm just calling this double alarm function in the begin play this is only just for testing so let me remove that first and also i don't think i didn't i never implemented this false part too so yeah. let me do that also here we can actually deactivate the alarm sound and set hidden in game to true so we don't see the alarms anymore so yeah but uh, how can we connect this to the enemy's perception so basically it should be turned on alarm should be turned on when they spot the player player or any other enemy that is not from their team so for that uh, i'm i'm thinking of using this uh, npc manager because there are multiple npc characters and any of them can see the player spot the player so npc manager here in the npc manager i have um, this uh can i shoot function and can i throw grenade function and what's this shooting at oh these four this is not relevant for this part so yeah so if I yeah by using this can I shoot function I can have mm, so this is an indicator that says enemies have spotted uh, NPC characters have spotted one of their enemies one or many of their enemies so that's a reason to trigger an alarm if there is an alarm available so first in here I'll add a variable alarm and this should be in the type of actor first let's add this and I'm not going to change this into the exact type of alarm tower because I kind of want to keep things loosely coupled so in order to call this toggle alarm uh, let me rename this toggle alarm E because I am going to introduce a blueprint interface to this maybe I should move interfaces into a separate folder because I have a lot of them blueprint interface ppi 
再来。Here I'll add a function. So we already have. Let me rename this toggle alarm with an input of enable. Okay. Compile. Save. Now let's implement that on the class settings. PPI hello. All right, now we should see it here. Toggle alarm. And uh, uh, this is the reason I replaced, uh, renamed this event because I'm going to use the same name so it doesn't make any conflicts. So Let's replace that custom event with this interface event. Okay, and now in the NPC manager, let's make this uh, public. And by doing that, I can assign it, assign it to a variable. in the NPC manager so here we have the alarm let's pick this alarm at pp alarm tower right now uh, here in the NPC manager um, uh, when we get this function can I show I think we need another custom event to toggle the alarm. Actually, we could just get this and check if there is a valid reference and call toggle the alarm. But uh, the reason I'm implementing a custom event for this is because maybe later on I need to introduce some delay. Because right away, when an enemy C is for the player, instead of toggle, uh, uh, turning on the alarm right away maybe we should have something so to implement to keep room to implement things like that i'm going to implement a custom event to, again i leave the name to alarm alarm or alarms because if we have multiple alarms but yeah for now we don't uh, have multiple alarms so just toggle alarm and also we will let's have an input uh or maybe not maybe turning off the alarm part should happen like automatically so turn on alarm that would work all right now here let's get a reference to the alarm and check if we have a valid reference if yes oh actually we can turn this into a validated git to keep things simpler if yes let's call toggle alarm with the true true and let's have a re-triggerable delay like let's say 10 seconds at the end let's get the alarm toggle the alarm call it with the false the reason i implemented a re-triggerable delay is because if we uh, uh, while we are waiting for 10 seconds if we get another call to this turn on alarm uh, it will be reset to zero and it start counting from zero again so in that way we can keep the alarm on as long as we get turn on alarm notifiers 
all right so now let's call this function here in can i search mm, it's kind of uh bad to use this toggle alarm call this toggle alarm uh, so turn on alarm i feels like it kind of bad to you call this turn on alarm inside here because can i search function name does not necessarily explain by the name itself that it is calling to an alarm also but yeah let's just make this work make this working and look into those details later right uh, okay and uh, now let me move my character here okay identified but the alarm did not turn on why is that haven't i assigned the npc manager for these guys i have oh sorry not can i search I should have call it in can I shoot this is can I search sorry about that uh, okay here turn on alarm now it should work let's see see alarm starts working all right so okay so how do we add some delay to that instead of starting the alarm right away for that um maybe here uh, when we get this uh input we can have let's uh get word delta time seconds right let's do we have something like a variable that holds the last scene time no okay then let's promote this to variable last scene time and let's set it then mm, let's have a two once nod because i need i don't want to get to this part oh wait a second maybe not necessarily let me think uh, what if i update this function this uh, here instead of here no this will work let me get some space and add the delay of let's say so how long do we need to wait before the alarm turns on let's say five seconds i don't want to make it longer uh, uh, for testing purposes and after that we can get the last scene time and also we can get the current del world delta seconds and 
subtract and check if we have spent if it is greater than uh, five. Oh wait in that case we might need something larger so by doing this what i'm trying to ensure is that uh, we the enemy is still being spotted by uh, by npc characters the any new player player is still being spotted by npc characters so like we haven't killed the guy who has spotted us right away so that's what i'm going to ensure here so if this is true uh branch this is true we can toggle the alarm turn on and also oh, we forgot one thing let's add a sequence here we need to break this Alright, now if this is working as intended, uh, if I kill the enemy who spotted me right away, or if I hide right after when I get spotted, the alarm should not trigger. But if I stay visible, the alarm should be triggered. Anyway, to any of those things to happen, there will be. 10 second window so let me kill this guy oh I spend more than 10 seconds here because the alarm didn't go off oh maybe let's reduce the time to make this keep things simpler I don't think alarm is this part is working. Let's see what happens. Let me just go here. Oh, this is false. Right, uh, and actually the reason is uh, there are some delays inside the AI of the enemy character as well. So, 
where do I call this can I show it? Let's see. It's in toggle fire. So yeah, this uh, task is not always called because the enemies are choosing to do other stuff like flanking and taking cover, things like that too. So uh, do we have in this delay implementing this delay might take some work than I thought it would be so let me just skip this part for now and just have some delay and toggle the alarm but I'm gonna improve this for sure in the next episode. Wait, why didn't it wait for five seconds? Oh, the delay is happening inside here. Okay, so let me just skip it here. This part and this part. So this part is not used for now. These nodes. All right, but I will revisit this. So there should be some delay now. See, okay, alarm turns on and things are working as intended and i'm gonna stop this episode at this point so thanks for watching as always project files will be available here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye